Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. You've been watching an 83 PTO horsepower Alice Chalmers 6080 tractor plowing with an International 720 moldboard plow. I wanted to share this quick clip with you because I thought it was pretty neat that the tractor was driverless. Yes, there was no one driving this tractor. Today, we see so many big machines with auto guidance that have 17 satellites helping guide the tractor on perfect passes across the field. But back in the 1980s and 1970s, and as far back as plowing goes with tractors, the tractor would just drop down into the furrow and make a straight line. And with that furrow, the farmer actually didn't need to really steer the tractor. It could guide itself across the field and hang on that furrow. The one challenge in creating this quick clip was that it was filmed in portrait on an iPhone and you really need to film in landscape to fit YouTube's format. So I want to give you a quick view of the tractor in the original format so you can see it in that portrait style. Now that you've seen the portrait view of the original format of the video that my friend took of his tractor, you can see why I edited the introduction part of the video to landscape mode. It tightens up the view and brings it in a lot closer, but it's easier to view here on YouTube. I certainly always would recommend farm safety and never leave the seat of your tractor or other farm machinery while it's running and operating in the field. For demonstration purposes, this tractor was moving extremely slowly across the field and my friend simply wanted to show that when you're moldboard plowing, you don't need fancy GPS and satellites. You just get that tire down in the furrow and it will hug it tight and it will guide that tractor straight across the field. Alice Chalmers had a lot of firsts in the company's history. Unfortunately, the company was sold to Deutz Farr in 1985 and never had the opportunity to produce a GPS guided tractor. Although they had some very important firsts in the company's lineup back in the 1940s, Alice Chalmers introduced the first round baler to the farm equipment market, and by the 1970s, round balers became a mainstay on many farms. Here we can see a short clip of a 1972 Alice Chalmers Roto Baler. It uses the same design and principle the company first started working on back in 1940. Ellis Chalmers was also a market leader in no-till corn planter development. Back in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, the company was the largest seller of no-till corn planters. The very first no-till cornfield ever planted was seeded back in 1962 in Herndon, Kentucky by Harry Young with a two-row Alice Chalmers planter. And from there, the company really accelerated in no-till corn and soybeans with its planters. Driverless tractors without operators sitting in the seat are definitely in the near future of farming. It would have been neat to see what Alice Chalmers might have accomplished as a brand if it had continued on beyond 1985 with modern machinery, GPS, and computers. 
but it's always nice to see a classic tractor like the 6080 that was produced from 1980 through 1985 and then into 1986 under the Deutz Alice brand. I really like seeing these classic tractors and plows still turning over the ground. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well, so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below, as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.